Hey everyone, it's B Bee from Bees Bees here, back again for another edition of Bees Bees. I'm gonna show you how to top your plants and trim them up when they're at this stage, kind of how I like to do it. And because I don't know if these are gonna be purely mother plants or they might end up in a flower room sooner or later, I'm gonna top them so they don't grow too high and also trim up underneath any extra foliage that may be hanging out from the initial veg. And usually at this stage is when I like to do it. You can see these animals have got some pretty gnarly um, fan leaves on them. They're really big. So we're gonna trim these up and I'm gonna kinda of give you some tips on how to t uh, trim and top them in this episode. All right, everyone, what we're looking at here is a close-up of the base of an animal strain here at the bottom. And if you can see, there's actually some extra foliage that's left over from when the seed sprouted that we're gonna get, we're gonna take care of today. First step you're gonna need is a nice clean pair of scissors here. Make sure it's sterile, wipe them off with alcohol, and then get ready to cut. So as you can see, underneath here, the better. I like to, these extra fan leaves, we can get rid of them now. They're gonna be no good. An original leaf from the sprout is also going to be taken care of. I'll spin it and then take care of that one. Spin it over here and you guys can see this fan leaf underneath there. We're going to take care of that as well. So just a quick little cleanup underneath there. Hopefully you can tell the difference. And I'm going to do that on each plant. An important tip to remember when you're trimming these plants up is that you don't want to take more than half of the foliage, okay? You're going to stress it out too much and you're probably going to kill it. So my suggestion is to keep trimming low. There's certain times when you want to trim and trim this foliage up like this. There's certain times when you don't. I try and keep it minimal and do it at the beginning of veg, such as this stage. Um, and then of course I always defoliate later in the flower stage, but of course not past week five. You wanna try and get as close to the base as you can when you trim, make it a nice clean cut. All right, now we're gonna move on to the top of the plant here. I'm gonna top this plant and that means that I'm gonna pick in between these nodes, see how these nodes split off like this? Actually, I'll show you what you can see. This, this would be a node. As this splits here and two leaves split out, you're gonna wanna make the cut right above there because two new leaves are gonna come and sprout up from each side there. I'm not gonna go that far down, but I will go a little bit closer to the top. I like to do as close as I can really. You can see there's a bunch of leaves at the top. We're just gonna go ahead and take all that off, okay? There's the top. And so now our plant is going to grow out more bushy, wider, and also be a little height regulated so it's not shooting up towards the sky so much. I'm also, because of these leaves are so big, I'm pretty inclined to cut another lower level branch off of here, okay? And get rid of those as well so that underneath has a little more air circulation and it's a little more free to grow. Now I've never seen such big fan leaves. Maybe it's my spectrum of light. Maybe you guys know why I'm looking at such big fan leaves out there. If you do, leave them in the comments, let me know. One more thing that I'd like to say before we go is that, you know, when you trim these big fan leaves, you don't have to throw them away. Nothing from this plant has to go to waste. You can use it all. Um, one of the best and most nutritional ways to use this plant and these fan leaves is as long as you didn't spray anything on them, you can take these and juice them. People say that is some of the best benefits you can get from this plant. So thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you learned something on the topping lesson and the trim up lesson that I usually do in the very beginning stages of the veg um, cycle of my plants just to help them grow a little cleaner and happier through the rest of the phase. So. Thanks for tuning in guys. Don't forget to save the bees.